What is up guys, Brandon here from TechFlare back with another video. In this video I will be discussing with you guys if the iPad Mini 2 will do in 2017. So let's, comp let's compare it a little bit to the iPad Mini 4 which is the latest version of iPad Mini. So of course the iPad Mini 2 doesn't have a touch ID sensor. You can't you can't use that. Um, the iPad Mini 4 does have a touch touch ID uh, sensor and it also has some better specs obviously and a better camera but I will say for 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 iPad minis you're really not going to be taking pictures or videos um, I mean you will on occasion probably but not very much it's not going to be your main camera source that's probably going to be your phone um, but for uh, for an iPad Mini 2, I think this is actually a very good device because it's very responsive. It loads games and stuff fast. It never lags. Um, it has the latest iOS version. Let me show you that here. It can get iOS 10.3.2 Public Beta 5, which I can't install now because it's not at 50% battery. But, I mean, that's pretty good. I mean... The latest version for an iPad Mini 2. This is this is a pretty old device, and it's still up to date. Um, it can load games really fast. Let me show you real quick. Clash of Clans loading up. And as you can see there, just a few seconds to load up Clash of Clans. And also, another thing I will say is there are hardly any apps that aren't supported on the iPad Mini 2. Like, I haven't come across any app that needs an iPad Mini 3 or higher. Um, pretty much every app on the App Store right now is suitable for use with an iPad Mini 2. I mean, everything is completely up to date. All the applications work. None of them lag. Um, it's just all around a very good device. So, now let's, let's look up how much the iPad Mini 2 is. How much is the iPad Mini 2? It's $256 to about $310, you can see here. That is pretty cheap for an iPad. Um, I mean, I don't understand why a person would would want to get an iPad Mini 4. I mean, it is more up to date, but the iPad Mini 4 is going to be like a lot more. And also, I will say the iPad Mini 4 only comes with 128 gigabyte um, storage. The iPad Mini 2 uh, comes with. I think you can get it from 16 to 128. I have the 32 gigabyte version. Um, so, I mean, the iPad Mini 2 can be very cheap, and I'm sure you can find it on eBay for really cheap. Um, so it's definitely at least $100 cheaper than the iPad Mini 4. Of course, the iPad Mini 4 will have the latest updates for longer, but right now, the iPad Mini 2 is a great device, and you can get it for really cheap. Um, the only really downsides currently is that it doesn't have the Touch ID sensor, which isn't really a big deal, and the camera isn't quite as good. Um, so yes, I would say that the iPad Mini 2 definitely will do in 2017 for a normal everyday use iPad Mini. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to smash that like button. It always helps to get likes guys so then I know what videos you like what videos you want more of and it really tells me a lot about what videos you enjoy and also don't forget to subscribe if you are new to the channel and once again thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one peace out